Hello and welcome. Welcome back everyone. This week's mystery surprise bag is celebrating the unsung beauty of the moth. So we have this beautiful moth painting today, um, very intricate, a lot of little details to sink our teeth into, lots of little sparkly surprises along the way. So this one's going to be really, really pretty. I'm very excited for it. And we are doing it on, I don't know if you noticed, but our square size canvas. This one's super new and I think it lends itself really really well to our beautiful moth painting today. So let's take a quick look at our supplies today. So we have we have only two brushes this time but we only really need two. We need a a bigger one and a smaller one for details because we're going to be doing a lot of our little outlining with glitter. So we have a few colors. We have this really pretty orangey red. We have a blue and we have a green. So we have a couple of these, a couple of these. We have one of these. Make sure that you have your brown paper underneath your canvases so that we just get our paper messy and not anything else. We also have our paper towel to dry off our brushes and our water cup to wash our brushes. We also have our palette of paint, our top plate, and we are gonna have two little mixing plates today because we're going to do a lot of little mixes, all kinds of really cool different colors. We have a lot of colors today, so I'm going to kind of scoop those out on one of those plates to make my little palette of paint. And let's go through. We have white, brown, kind of a dark, kind of mustardy yellow, dark yellow. We have a pink, orange, Kind of really nice terracotta reddish brownish color red lighter yellow dark we have a dark green we have a regular green we have a blue and we have a purple notice that we don't have black this time interesting we're gonna be using some um, really cool little shadowy colors instead of black so i'm excited for that so as always, we're going to start with our biggest brush. And for this one, I'm going to make a really, really, really light color. In this case, I used kind of a tan color. So I'm going to do mostly white. And I'm going to do just a little bit of that really dark yellow, that kind of golden yellow. Um, but you definitely do a different really light color. I think a, a really light pink, really light purple, really light teal would be also really nice for these colors. So we're gonna get a big scoop of white paint. So I have a big scoop of white paint and I grabbed a little bit of that dark yellow. I'm gonna put that right on top and I'm gonna mix together. Just get a little bit of this color at a time. I'm looking for just a really, really light tan color, kind of almost an off-white. It's going to be really light. I might make mine just a tiny bit darker. Very creamy color. And that's just so that all of our other really pretty colors in our moth and our flowers can really shine. And I'm also going to use this light color to paint over all these lines. What? So we're actually going to paint over some of your bigger flowers. You can paint around them if you want to. But I'm actually going to cover up pretty much everything except for my moth and maybe my bigger flowers I'll paint around but everything else I'm just gonna cover over it's gonna be just a lot easier 
If you do want to paint around your flowers, you can. It just take a little bit longer, but that's okay. I'm going to fill in all of our background. So once you have all of your background filled in, as always don't forget those side edges, we're going to paint all around. Okay, so after you have all of your side edges, um, we're going to start filling in some of our mothy colors. Now, as we go along, I'm going to show you how to mix up the colors that I used. Um, and you are definitely welcome to make these different if you want. You have all these beautiful colors on your palette. You're welcome to change it up. Now, as we go along, this painting um, is very much about symmetry so I'm going to kind of add the same um, color here as I do here when I paint one flower color I'll paint the color um, that same color on the other side so they're gonna kind of this whole side is going to match this whole side so for this little section here a kind of bigger top section on, on my moth my mixture is going to be that kind of reddish brownish terracotta color, orange, and white. And I'm going to mix those three colors together. I'm going to do lots of funky mixes on this painting. I'm going to explore lots of really neat colors. So I'm going to mix those three together. It's going to give me this really pretty kind of light terracotta -y color and I'm going to fill in over my lines just smooth out smooth out your paint so you can see those lines peeking through underneath we'll come back later with a little bit lighter color and put those details back in I'm also going to fill in this part right here. You can definitely use that smaller brush if this one is too big. I'm actually going to switch brushes now, and while I have this color mixed up, I'm going to use my small brush, a little one, and I'm going to choose some flowers that I want to make this color to match. So I'm going to choose these big ones up here. I'm going to do those outside petals. And since these are very similar to these guys over here, I'm going to fill in the outside petals of these as well. So those little guys on the corner, I'm going to fill in also. So 
So my next color I'm going to mix is the one that's going to be right here. So it's going to be kind of a like a pinky salmon-y color. Um, my mixture in that is going to be mostly white. So it's going to be pretty light. A little orange, a little pink. I'm going to mix those three together. And a little bit more white. Beautiful. And I'm going to use this color to fill in all this little space. I'm going over those circles. So I have all of those little pieces filled in. Um, while I have that color on my brush, I'm going to choose a few little flowers to make that color. So I'm going to choose maybe these little flowers here. And then remember all about symmetry, I'm going to find these over here to match. I'm also going to find maybe some little of these little um, poofy flowers, these little bally ones. And I'm going to kind of tap it on this little guy maybe and then match it. So this side, that side, let's go down here, maybe fill in a couple more of those. I'm going to do this big one down here, I'm just tapping it on. This one right here, same on this side. And this one. Nice. I'm gonna darken up that same color with a little extra orange and a little extra pink. So a little darker version of that same color, kind of very salmon-y color. And I'm gonna use that color and I'm gonna paint underneath this one. Same on this side. I'm going to use the same color and I'm going to find a couple more flowers to fill in. So let's fill in this one. couple more of these guys. My next color mixture, I'm going to mix white, blue, and dark green or teal. And that color I'm going to use for that center moth color right there gonna be this really pretty kind of aqua y blue. Kind of turquoise -y color. I'm gonna use that color. I'm gonna cover over these little shapes. We'll put those back in later with some other colors. I'm going to use that same color and I'm going to add it to these little ones. I'm going to use that very tip of the brush. I'm going to almost hold my brush um, instead of flat. I'm going to use that thin part, that sideways part. And I'm just barely touching it and just sweeping it just a tiny bit. Keep grabbing more paint on your brush. 
each time. Just filling in that shape. It's okay if it gets a little bigger than that shape. You can add even more of these if you want. Make it really full, even fluffier. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Because when we do something on one side, we're gonna match it to the other. I'm also gonna fill in these two here in the same way. And these down here. I'm gonna go over those little lines. Make them into little leaves. So let's wash off our brush, dry off our brush, and let's fill in some leaves while we let some of these flowers dry. So I'm going to mix up white, yellow, the lighter of the two yellows, and green. So we're gonna mix those three together. It's gonna give you this really pretty kind of light avocado pistachio color. I add a little bit more green on mine, a little bit more yellow, make it a little bit darker. Cool, I'm liking that color. Scratch off your brush, smooth it out, and then we're going to find all of our leaves. Let's fill in some other flower colors next. Um, so for these bigger ones here, um, that's gonna be a mixture of red and orange, and it's gonna make this really pretty kind of fiery color. And on these, I'm just gonna kind of tap them on I'm also going to find a few more little circly flowers and add those on to match. Another pretty color is pink, purple, and white. Let's see what that makes. Mm, pretty color. I'm going to use this color on a few flowers also. So I'm going to use it on these little guys. A couple spotty ones. Maybe this guy. On these. On 
these ones. Uh, just a white and a pink next to add some more little details. All these pretty colors are so cool together. So just a white and a pink. And I'm going to fill in like this part up here. Maybe, let's see, maybe these guys. The center ones, those. And by this time, um, this should be dry, and this should be dry. So I'm actually gonna smooth out my bristles as much as I can and I'm going to use the thin part of this brush and I'm going to trace with this light pink those long lines and my little zigzags are right now almost chevrons And I'm gonna put a little sweep over here too. Have a little wiggle. Let's add some yellows next. I'm gonna use this dark yellow just by itself. It's a really pretty color. And I'm gonna use that color and I'm gonna dab it into this flower on top of that little green part, the stem part. I'm going to choose maybe a couple more of these little floofy circles and at the bottom to match. Into these big ones. So at this point I have pretty much all of my flowers filled in and my leaves filled in I think. Let's let those dry a little bit and then we're going to come back over here to our center and we need to fill in that part. So this color that I mixed up is going to be brown and purple mixed together. It makes this really pretty kind of plummy. A dark plum color that's really nice and then just to taste if you wanted a little bit more purple or a little bit more brown see what you think and I'm gonna use I'm keeping my small brush and I'm gonna fill in all the little center I'm also gonna use this to fill in these bigger circle parts if you want it a little darker, let it dry a little bit and then do another little layer on top. We'll darken it. Doing these on all the outer circles. And don't worry if it gets a little too much into that center circle. We're gonna be doing some cool little shinies in there anyway, so no worries. I'm also going to use this color and I'm going to tap in the centers of some flowers here. I'm going to tap in those two big ones. And you can either do a little poke at the brushy part 
or you can turn this brush around and use the back handle and dip the back into the paint. And we're going to add little centers to flowers. I'm going to do little dots on these little circly ones. I'm going to add a few more little center dots and I'm going to mix up white and yellow, the lighter of the two yellows. I'm going to use the back handle and I'm going to add some little yellow centers on these dark yellow flowers over here. Over there. And these down here too. So by now, these are probably pretty dry. Um, I'm going to switch back to my brushy side. And I'm going to find that nice purple-brown combination. And I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to give them a little trace. With that dark color. Maybe a little at the top. And these over here. I'm also going to add them over here. So I'm going to add a few little uh, details of white. Let's fill in these. I'm going to use my small brush still, but I'm going to go into a little bit of white. And I'm going to fill in that shape. I'm also going to add those little dot details that's going to be with the back handle again into some white and I'm going to follow along that little bottom layer of the wing.
our leaves, I think, need a little pop of color as well. And for that, I'm just going to use my small brush. I did wash it off. I'm going to get a little bit of the green just by itself. And right in the middle, I'm just going to sweep a little line of this darker green. Just give it a little extra pop. Beautiful. We have all of our steps uh, that are painty. Now come our steps that are sparkly. Glitter time. Oh, we are going to go over here to our antennas. And I did these in blue. We're going to take off the little tops. Kind of squeeze it. Boop. Now, at this point, I would lay it flat if you have it on an easel. If you already have it laid out flat, awesome. It's just going to be a little easier. I'm going to take it a real slow. Don't squeeze too hard, and you'll get a nice little thin line. So we're kind of using the glitter as our outlines. Instead of black paint or Sharpie, I put some little eyeballs on it. I don't know if you can see that. So I put some little eyeballs on there. I have my glitter lines. I'm gonna go over here to the little stripies, please. And I'm going to add some little stripes of blue glitter. You can't see in the light. I'm also going to use this orangey one, it's kind of really pretty orangey red, kind of matches our mossy color, and I'm going to trace, oh, you get a blobby, no worries, just kind of sweep it away with your finger. I'm going to trace my stems with this one. I'm going to chase these bottom ones as well with that same orangey red. Well, I have a little bit left of this orangey red one. I'm also going to squeeze some dots kind of on the points of that little chevron underneath it. 
inside the little pyramid and then one on top. Bring that a little bit closer. So I put some on the little points there. The rest are going to be with um, green glitter glue. So I'm going to trace these little fluffy flowers. And our last little step, jewels. So we have a little container of jewels. Go ahead and bring those out. And then we can use these with a little bit of the tacky glue from your activity kit or the glitter glue. And I'm going to add those little shinies to the center of my dots. And you can also add some here. I forgot to put a little bit of that orangey right there. So you can either do that orangey color there, it might be pretty, or you can do the little jewels as well. So I'm going to get a little bit of tacky glue. And I'm going to squeeze it and make little dots on the centers. Since I forgot to put one there, I'm going to put a shiny one there too. Okay. And then I'm going to pop some jewels on top. So again, best to lay it flat while you're doing this because gravity like it's going to do to mine is going to kind of bring it on down um i'm just kind of choosing random ones but you can definitely have yours all the same all different kind of alternating if you can try to match at least symmetry so maybe i'm doing the gold and a pearl and i'll want a gold and a pearl. I'm looking for a gold. See, they're bringing them on down. Okay, so I fixed up my little jewels a little bit. I tried to make them a little bit more matchy-matchy. So I have a red and a red, gold and a gold, pearl and a pearl, gold and a gold. And I did put my little artist signature, my little initial, in the corners. Don't forget that. So, take your time. Embellish as much as you want. This one really lends itself to all those beautiful little 3D um, shiny bits to it. So um, just make sure you let your glitter glue dry. You let all of your beautiful jewels dry for a while and they dry really nice. It gets a little shinier it seems like and a little flatter. So it's really nice. So. I'm so excited, congratulations. We need to find a really cool spot for this one on the wall and have so much fun making your very own little 
sewn squishy moss. So I'm excited for those as well. Thank you so much, guys. Again, as always, we'd love to see your creations at home. Please share with us. We'd love to share in your creations. Bye, guys. See you next week.